that one feel a little bit like like one that got away, a game that maybe you could have won? Had, it seemed like you had some opportunities. Yeah, I mean, definitely. There was definitely opportunities in that game that um, we could have had a different play or a different outcome of situations that could have changed the whole outcome of the game. Um, not even down later in the stretch, but throughout the whole game, there were situations that we could have gotten a rebound or made a better pass. That So, yeah, it's a hard one, but just get focused and regroup. Riley, uh, 20 turnovers obviously is a number you guys are probably not happy with. What did you think <coughs> contributed to that? Yeah, I mean, they're a good team, and I just think we, I don't know. <laughs> I just think we let their speed, you know, speed us up, obviously. And um, I don't know, I just don't think we really thought a lot of the time before we passed, like my, me and myself. I just don't think we were as connected as we could have been, and that just contributed to that for sure. Has that been a little more of a problem than you would like it to be the last couple of games? Um, I would say so. I think whenever you have a lot of turnovers, that's a problem, of course, and that's just something we'll have to look at when we go to practice and make sure that it's a lot better. You guys are really good again defensively tonight, Tegan. Does it feel like right now this team is kind of hanging its hat on its defense? Yeah, I would say definitely. Um, I think our, ha our defense is something that we pride ourselves in, and I think recently we've really been focusing on it because that's going to win us games, and um, so we need to just continue to focus on it, and the offense will come. And, yeah. What do you got to do to bring the offense kind of up to the level of defense you've been playing at? I honestly think the energy of our defense will translate into our offense. Um, if we make defensive play, defensive plays, get stops, that leads to transition, which will really get everyone going offensively. So, yeah, just working on our defense. Riley, how do you think the team is adjusting to not having Maya in the lineup right now? Yeah, it's been really tough not having Maya. I mean, she's one of our star players, and having her out is, is not fun. And but she's been really good at being a leader for us, even though she's not on the court. So I think we've had young girls, you know, step up and um, do really well. So it's been good. Does it feel like that's something that can still improve, can develop? Because <coughs> she kind of just went out, yeah. and she's probably going to be out for a while. So that maybe gives you an opportunity to, to work on that again. Yeah, no, of course. I think just once people get more comfortable, it'll be a lot better for sure. Taking you guys are seven and six. You're used to being more over 500 than that. But you've also played a really difficult non-conference schedule. How would you assess, I know you still got one more game before some of the play starts, but how would you assess how non-conference play has gone for you guys? Yeah, I mean, kind of what you said, uh, we're used to probably having a little better um, record, <laughs> that's the word, yep, better <laughs> record. Um, but like you said, we've been in a lot of close games and we could have easily um, won more games, lost more games, so, um, but I, ultimately I think it's really good for us for conference play, it gives us really good teams to go against and um, I mean, we try to not, not to focus too much on the record, and I think it'll just give us a good chip on our shoulder going into conference. Players, we could talk differently about this time, but my post-game press conference after last game could probably just be copy and pasted here. You know, we've got to break this little bit of cycle that we're in of losing games like this, where we're just quite uh, just playing well enough to, to to lose it late. You know, that's kind of where we're at. Um, um, I liked our effort, though. I was really pleased with that. I thought we really fought hard. We have a lot of things coming up right now. Um, obviously, Peyton didn't finish the game. We'll see where she's at, and I haven't gotten any updates on her. Um, Tagging was really banged up throughout the game and was, was limping noticeably, I thought. So, you know, we've got some other things that we're dealing with that, that don't make it any easier. But, um, you know, Marquette played really well. They make it hard for you to, to score. They're very good defensively, that's for sure. But we still kind of shoot ourselves in the foot a little bit with some costly turnovers or a couple missed shots, free throws. You know, certainly things that we can correct and do a little bit better can make a big difference for us going forward. So really liked our effort, liked how hard we played, um, competed well, fought through some adversity and uh, played through some injuries, but just wasn't quite enough today. Kind of limp into the break here a little bit, aren't you, with all the injuries kind of mounting? Yeah, you know, it's um, it just happens sometimes. We've had years like this, not often, you know, sometimes teams go through these things. And unfortunately, the way our, our, our schedule is set up, conference being what it is, we just play so many games in this short stretch. So when you have injuries in November and December, you know, it's not a game or two. It usually ends up being five, six games. You know, you could play, uh, we play, you look at where everybody else at nationally, very few teams have played as many games as, you know, we have or teams in our league have. And so it certainly puts a lot of pressure on them. Um, it's not good to be injured at any point, uh, but this is a tough stretch for us to have those things come up. Does the turnover bug feel like it's becoming a little bit too much of a trend for you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, we've been up and down with it. We find games against really high-quality opponents where we actually have taken care of the ball really well. So the, the turnover is, is the issue, but it's just the, the choice, I think, is the thing that I'm really looking at more. We're just throwing passes where it just can't be thrown. You know, 
where there's just no no reason to try and make that pass at that particular time and um, some of it's maybe youth and some of it's you know just the choice I guess so we've got to work through both of those. Would you feel better about it if it was just sort of every game teams are making great defensive plays and doing it to you or, or do you feel better that knowing that it's like is it more correctable I guess in knowing that in a lot of these cases it has been kind of unforced right. sort of stuff? Well, my message after the game to answer that question was, I, you know, I, I did. I really believe our effort was really good. We have people that are really fighting hard, and, and we've moved people around a lot this year. So every time there's a timeout, it's like, hey, you need to now switch here and switch here, and then that's hard. Um, so I'm really proud of the team for kind of staying the course there. Um, if our effort stays good, we can fix the things that we're struggling with, and whether it be turnovers or just finishing shots or some execution things. Um, clean up the, some spacing things, I think, were part of it. Clean up some of our just minor but important miscues defensively. You know, I really think everything is, is you know, correctable and, and can be improved on. But the effort part's got to stay there. If that part goes away and there's any discouraged nature from all the you know, adversity, then it's tough to fix the rest of it too. So I, I think we will. We've got you know, a group that really knows how to win. That's certainly not... Um, something we have to, to worry too much about, but we got to play well enough to win, and that's that's what we'll work on. This team so far has not been a good free throw shooting team. Is that, I mean, do you just set aside some time of practice and just practice a bunch of free throws, or is this just a team that doesn't have good free throw shooters? How can you address that? Yeah, I think in some cases it's been inconsistent. In some cases it's uh, just need to get in there and, and build some confidence at it. Uh, confidence is a tough thing because the only way you get confident is when good things happen. And uh, sometimes it's hard to make good things happen. You know, it's not a choice. It's like, gosh, you know, they're, they're working hard at it. But, yeah, we'll just continue to find ways to get reps without, you know, overemphasizing it and getting, you know, more in somebody's head. But, uh, you know, and some of that's too, uh, certainly I believe this, good free throw shooting teams, it also has to do with system, and we need to look at that too. Are we getting people fouled that need to get fouled, and are we putting them in the right spots? And so we spend more time, I think, in that area than we do just on the psychology of making a free throw. I know you still got one more, but so far, I mean, you're not used to being seven and six, but you've also played obviously a, a very difficult schedule. Um, how satisfied are you? How pleased are you? What's your assessment, I guess, of non-conference season so far? Well, wins and losses. You know, we'd like to be better. Um, I think the reality is a few possessions could change our record dramatically either way because yeah. we won a few close games and we've lost some close games. And so a few possessions are really separating, you know, where we want to be to you know, being in a whole different place. And so I always feel like as, as a coach, it's really important to, uh, you know, not, not lean too much. You know, you want to try and stay the course and be steady and, and not overreact to things because I think sometimes, you know, you're, you're a lot closer to where you want to be than you realize. Uh, but winning and losing feels very different, very extremely different. And those extremes can sometimes cause you to chase things that don't necessarily help. So I uh, really want to try and be patient, but also, you know, really clear about where we can improve and, and the importance of doing it, I think, because, you know, we, we're, we're a better team than where we've played, uh, but we've got to prove it.